Hey, what's up guys? So today we're out here at the park with my brand new iFlight Nazgul Evoke F5 and we're gonna be doing a little review of this guy. Let's get right into it. All right, so this is the iFlight Nazgul Evoke F5. This is iFlight's take on a five inch bind and fly freestyle drone. This is the dead cat version. So the propellers here spinning will never show up in the, in the camera shot. This one has a DJI O3 on it. It also has GPS. So this one has return to home, which is pretty nice to have on a, on a freestyle drone. Um, it has two antennas. It has built in, um, built-in battery connector, which is which is nice. You don't have to worry about your propellers smacking your battery cables and cutting anything. You got your battery straps up here. You have a, a little pad so the battery doesn't slide, which is nice. You have LEDs on the bottom, which is good. I am flying this drone with the DJI Remote 2. So linking it is very straightforward. You just hit the link button on there and then hit it on the, on the side of the O3, you just hit the, the link button, which is right there. You just tap it with the pin and you can link it real quick and you're pretty much flying. So it's it's pretty simple. Later in the video, we'll show you guys the beta flight settings for this thing so you guys can get it set up. Um, you have your port over here that's covered to plug it in and access beta flight. So that's pretty nice. They give you a little dust cover for it. Get the same thing on the port to plug in the O3. When you get it, you're gonna have to plug in the O3 and update it. So you got to just take this this thing off and plug in your O3, update it, register it, and you guys you guys will be all set. Um, I fly this guy with R Line 120C 1300 and 1400 milliamp hour batteries. I get about four to five minute flight time out of it and it's that's flying like pretty hard i could probably fly like really easy and push it a little bit more and get a little bit more flight time but i mean flying pretty pretty hard you're getting at least four or five minutes out of it but with all that said let's let's get her up in the air all right so the drone just linked up i just heard it beep so i have all my gps positions i'm good if i lose signal it'll return to home i will be good so let's get up in the air let's make sure my goggles are straight Arm up, taking off in full air mode. This thing just pops right up. Using no throttle barely. It just goes wherever you want. We got a decent amount of wind out here too. There's a full punch. About a 10, 15 mile an hour wind out here. And this thing really just does not care. As you guys can see, this thing is incredibly nimble. It's had something crazy, like a 10 to one power to weight ratio. It might even be more I'm flying against the wind right now and I have like no camera angle. I'm not really flying that fast. That doesn't sound good. What was that? Bring that back and see. What the hell was that? Yes, that was just a battery strap that hit the prop, so nothing crazy. Just sounded kind of crazy. Sounded like something happened. Start recording again. go over into this frisbee golf course over here oh this isn't the frisbee golf course damn we really got some oh yeah there's a hole we really got some wind over here i was just blowing the drone 
You really don't feel it that much with this drone though. It's kind of crazy. And a little RC air park over here. And do a little yaw spin. The flips on this thing are just like, it, it's almost like you're pushing a button, it's so easy. Too windy. I don't got the float. This drone's on stock rates right now, so this is how it flies straight out of the box. If you guys were to get one, throw these propellers on it. This is how she would fly. So this drone actually has its a separate beeper on it and it's hooked up so that when the drone has low battery, it goes into low power mode and you can actually set what that, that is in beta flight. Um, the beeper goes on. Pretty cool feature. things absolute beast though a little bit more battery I fix my goggles and kind of just hovers perfectly. And remember, we got we had a decent amount of wind there. A little rough in there. The mountain bike trails over here. See if there's anyone out there. I don't have too much battery left, so I gotta be careful. Oh, signals are off over there on that side of the trees. Went on five minutes recording just this time. There's the low battery. I'm gonna bring her back on that. Come in here for a nice landing. There we go. All right, so now that you guys have seen how the Nazgul performs, let's head back to the house and show you guys the beta flight settings. 
All right, so we're back at the desk with the Nazgul. We're gonna show you guys the beta flight settings for this drone. So we're gonna have to take off that little, little piece I was showing you guys before. It's a little bit tough to get out. All right, exposing the USB-C and then we stick our USB-C in. It's connected to the computer. And she connects. And then once we're connected, it's a very simple beta flight setup, especially if you're not, I just have the, um, I'm just flying it with the DJI remote too. So I don't have to do anything with my ports here. I just leave everything the way that it was and it'll connect up to the DJI remote too. No problem. So I have a GPS on here. So I did have to set my fail save. So if you guys want, you can check this out. These are my fail safe settings. And then the receiver, like I said, don't have to do anything, just leave it how it came. But other than that, for a basic setup, just to get out flying, I mean, that's that's all you need right there. So, all right, so as you guys can see, the beta flight setup for this drone is really simple. Everything is very simple with this drone. That's kind of what I like so much about it is I took it out of the box and literally an hour later I was flying it. I just had to connect it to my remote, connect it to my goggles, throw the props on it. It comes with uh, two sets of props. So, I mean, you, you have props for it. You just toss them on there. It actually comes with nice stickers that tell you which orientation you need to put the props on. So that's, it's kind of cool. It's a very beginner friendly FPV drone, but it's, it's also packs a, packs a nice punch. The stock tune on it is nice. Everything is, is just solid about it. But I think that's gonna be about all we got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.